you join me now at a little place called Bordsey? And let me tell you, I've probably come in the wrong way, but I've just walked over what seemed like three miles of shingle. My God, that's hard work. And I didn't put my sunglasses on because there was thick cloud when I left the van. And now the sun's coming out. But as I was walking down the beach, I immediately saw these. And I looked at them thinking, oh, excuse me, just a little bit on the wonk. That would make a really graphic, minimal shot. So I put the 17 to 55 on and I'm starting at these groins, just shooting at no land, just sticking with the groin. So it's basically a series of black sticks. And I'd love to leave it colour, but I can't because the sand's horrible colour and the water's horrible colour. <laughs> Although looking that way, because I'm then shooting away from the sun, that water looks considerably nicer. The tide is well on its way out, so I may well be able to get up there and shoot this way. Although when you shoot in this direction, you've then got land to contend with and somewhere around there is a blooming big container ship coming out of port. It's only about 20 minutes away from Felix Day. But that I think works quite nicely. I'll show you on the camera what I've done. So what I'm seeing is these posts here a lovely brooding sky and bizarrely I haven't got a grad filter on the top. I might stick the point three on just to bring it down slightly. But I've been using the polarizer to darken the sky down to get it almost to match the water. Just with a six stop, I've gone from F14, let me just see. Oh no, I've been F16 all the way through and I've varied it from 1.3 seconds, which is slightly underexposed. And then I've wound it all the way up to three seconds, which is just verging on overexposed. The 1.3 seconds is getting that nice dragging motion where the waves come in, because it's a gravel, sorry, a shingle and sand beach, you get a nice streakiness. When I took it up to six seconds, that, oh sorry, three seconds, that's smoothing it out. But I think that's quite graphic. The ones that really interest me are this batch here. There's four and then there's five in front of them. Oops, there. Four bigger ones and then five smaller ones in front. As the tide recedes, I can get further and further up there and see if I can make something of that. But I love the way it disappears off out into the distance and the different heights so it's a bit different I think Sometimes just because you see something it doesn't actually mean it's going to work. But that's the beauty of digital. Excuse me. You try it. If it doesn't work, you tweak it. If it doesn't work, you tweak it again and then you go, oh, that doesn't work. End of. But what I have found is these. We have... Let's see if we can get down here. I'm not, very, I'm not very agile these days. We have these two little groins here leading out to these there's actually five of them but the way I've positioned the camera it looks like there's only three and I've just been waiting for the waves to come in hit the trigger button the waves drag back out I'm on about I'm aiming for a second maybe two seconds I've upped the ISO to 200 because I didn't want it completely smooth get me not smooth long exposures what's going on in the world Yeah. I'll go back to normal at some point, I'm sure. There is a huge ledge, you, I don't know if you'll make it out. Just around here, there's a, a ledge that the waves crash over. They sort of pick up energy, they go down and then they come back up again. 
and the defences, excuse me, I'm just watching what the waves are doing. The defences and presumably the sand and shingle banks out there make the waves come in at, at different angles. They're kind of coming in on the diagonal. So I'm getting more support down here and not enough down here. <laughs> hey ho! But I really like that. They say I'm resisting the temptation to get the 10 stop out. I've still got the 6 stop and a soft grab. Hear that bang as the waves hit. You can see the ledge appearing there. What a fantastic little spot this is. Again, this might have to go mono because the colour of the water is just gross. But I do kind of like the goldy sand peeking through. Now there is another groin that's got beautiful greenery on it. Oh, just a second. This one. But I'd prefer it if it was lower down because lower down will kind of lead you out to those five groins over there. Oh, oh, how much fun can a girl have? That's a good wave. Because I'm still shooting portrait orientation, it's really difficult to show you what's going on. And this camera drives me mad because it keeps going to sleep. And I don't realise it's gone to sleep. So I press it once, I press the shutter release to trigger the camera or to trigger the image, and it's asleep. That just wakes it up. So then I miss the image. <laughs> here this place is amazing and it started to rain and I've just spent the last 15 minutes trying to get a shot and I'm cleaning the filters every 30 seconds so I'm giving that one up as a bad job I'm gonna take a wander back there's loads and loads of potential here as you can see down the beach and probably around the corner as well there's groins for as far as the eye can see to get here at high tide, when the big ones, excuse me, those big ones somewhere around there, I think they are, are just coming into view would be amazing. But I think you'd get very wet. Because <laughs> that really is quite a way... Oh my lord, there's a huge amount of people just turned up. Yeah, the tide would have to be incredibly high, and I don't think this bit would be walkable on. I might just take a wander down there and see if it's going to stop raining and see if there's anything else to shoot down there. But these uprights, trying to shoot those with still just sticking with the six stop, but extending the exposure by reducing the ISO down to 100. I had cranked it up to 200. By increasing my F stop, I was up at F16 and it was verging on blowing out. But it's a really graphic black and white. White whites, black blacks. Won't look like a seascape in any way, shape or form, just a very abstract piece of art. Oh Lord, yes, there is definitely rain coming in. Doesn't look too bad that way. But down there, it looks blooming horrible. So no, I'm not gonna wander any further. I'm gonna leave that for another day. What a fantastic place. Can't believe I've never heard of this place before. Uh, as I say, it's a shingle beach, very much like Shingle Street, which is just down the road, I believe. And I was gonna go there, but I've got rubbish photos of Shingle Street in rubbish weather. <laughs> so I thought I'd leave that. 
I would like to get there during a decent weather day, be that blue skies and fluffy clouds or a good sunrise. But I'm really not bothered about going there for the time being. So that's it, me done here for now. I'm not doing sunset shoot tonight, I'm booked onto a campsite. So I'm gonna go and bath around, have showers, wash hair, clean filters, clean camera, uh, and catch up on some sleep because I haven't had a lot in the last two days. The joys, look at that, that actually makes, except for the tripod being in the light, I quite like that as an image as well. <laughs> um, yes, with sunrise being at daft clock, sleep has been in short supply. So thank you very much for coming along. Hope you like the few images I've put up. And I'll see you next Sunday at another new location. And I'm really, really excited about this one. Fingers crossed the weather stays. Take care, guys. See you next weekend. Bye.